Did you know that the majority of successful people in the world today all use the same formula to become wealthy? So it's all for no reason? John D. Rockefeller stated that the most stable thing in the world is the ability to produce money in the proper form so it cannot be shaken. Imagine that you could earn as much money as you desire. It may appear that you can only hope for that. However, I plan to debunk this theory today. Because if you examine how John D. Rockefeller made his billion dollars, you will discover revolutionary money methods that will help you become wealthy. Still don't believe it? Then stay tuned to the very end of this video to see for yourself. Welcome to Just Motivation. If you have a desire to get wealthy, then subscribe now. The first billionaire in the world is John Rockefeller, who invested $2,000 in the initial capital of his first company. Of these, $1,200 was borrowed from his father, and in 1937, when Rockefeller passed away, his estimated fortune was $1.4 billion. In today's world, this would be equivalent to $318 billion. In comparison, the estimated wealth of the world's richest man, Elon Musk, is merely $219 billion. After digging more into John Rockefeller's life story, I came to the conclusion that a handful of key competencies were responsible for his immense wealth. And as you give this video a thumbs up, I'll reveal the core of these abilities to you. Keeping an eye on your finances. At age 7, Rockefeller earned his first money collecting potatoes and raising rabbits on a neighbor's farm. Then, following his mother's guidance, he made his first entry in the ledger, detailing to the penny how much and for what purpose he received and spent money. John Rockefeller lived for 97 years and maintained these analogs of the current cash flow statement, one of the tools used to monitor the business finances until his death. Rockefeller biographers like to point out that he grew up in a low-income household, although no information on how much his father earned has been discovered. We are certain that the future billionaire's father was a traveling salesman who traveled extensively throughout the country. And while Rockefeller's father was absent, his mother had to save money. As a result, she learned the value of budgeting and reinforced that value in her children. John had seen since childhood how keeping track of money enables it to increase, and his parents wanted him to attend university. But Rockefeller selected a commercial college and accounting class. After completing his studies, he obtained a position as an assistant accountant. His supervisors instantly recognized and respected his passion for numbers. None of Rockefeller's co-workers enjoyed tinkering with completed periods and projects, and when he was assigned such responsibilities, his eyes would always light up. The first month of Rockefeller's employment, his pay was only $17. During the second month, it had increased to $25. A year later, he was promoted to manager with an annual salary of $800. It is essential to emphasize John's dedication to financial literacy, as it was his financial understanding that served as the foundation for his future fortune. Therefore, I recommend that you focus on personal financial education. Do not be hesitant to borrow. Entrepreneurs view borrowing money as a negative that should be avoided at all costs. The example of Rockefeller demonstrates that they do not need to. If Rockefeller hadn't borrowed the money he needed to start his business from his father, he probably would have worked his whole life for higher pay. Since borrowed money was always a part of his business, he preferred to sell shares to the next investor, even when he had enough money of his own. In addition to investing his own funds, he maintained a reserve. Even if there were no investors, he would personally fund the next venture. The first company founded by Rockefeller was a small logistics company. In his first year in business, Rockefeller received orders totaling $500,000 in value. Money to maintain them soon became limited, and as Rockefeller already owned a substantial sum to his father, who provided not only the loan but also an annual interest rate of 10%, he borrowed the missing amount wherever he could. It wasn't easy, but he managed to do it. It is considered that only those who lack financial literacy do not fear taking out loans. In contrast to them, Rockefeller borrowed prudently and fulfilled his obligations. Rockefeller was always diligent when it came to completing his duties, especially financial ones, regardless of how difficult it was. Even in his early years of company, when he faced a great deal of difficulty, he never missed a payment deadline. In his autobiography, he describes how he earned $500 million. Rockefeller tells how his father came to his office at the most inconvenient time for another loan payment and demanded that he wanted the money immediately. 
Rockefeller himself finds it impossible to determine if the dates were chosen by his father for education purposes or by happenstance. In any case, he paid each creditor, including his father, the correct amount and on time. Over time, lenders began to accept Rockefeller at his word, opening all of their vaults for him. His financial reputation was the strongest guarantee. Therefore, you should diligently watch your credit history and financial repute. Rockefeller was able to borrow without worry and meet his debts on a consistent basis because he did not act randomly. Each decision was meticulously calculated beforehand. When he borrowed money, he always considered when, how much, and how he would return it, as well as how much he would earn on borrowed funds. If he invested his own funds, he determined when and by how much they would grow. In his companies, Rockefeller invested millions of dollars. Rockefeller did not skimp if the investment resulted in an increase in production or a decrease in expenses, which translated to an increase in earnings. Rockefeller was the first person in the United States to cease transporting oil in wooden barrels on horseback and began transferring it in rail tanks, driving entire trains across the country. Upon assessing the harms caused by constant fires, he stopped economizing on refinery security, and the early American refineries were the oilmen's mental dumping grounds. Oil is a lucrative industry, but it would soon be completely depleted. Thus, they did not see the need to invest in the infrastructure. When Rockefeller began exporting oil, he needed devices to quickly transport it from tanks to tankers. At his own expense, he outfitted unneeded railway stops with these devices. At first glance, he handed them up for free to the railroad, but this along with the volume of transportation created a justification for a reduction in the tariff, allowing Rockefeller to transport oil by train three times cheaper than its competitors. Additionally, Rockefeller owns various iron mines. When he realized that transporting goods to blast furnaces and ports by ship was more valuable than by train, he made the switch. He created his own fleet from the ground up. Partners of Rockefeller deemed his discoveries to be too risky to invest in, so they declined to do so. In such situations, he stated, Okay, I'll invest the money on my own, but the benefits will be mine as well. After that, partners became quickly accommodating. Since Rockefeller was willing to invest alone, Everyone understood there would be a profit, the concept of wealth. There are long-established financial facts that are sure to make a large number of individuals wealthy. This is precisely what John Rockefeller's financial acumen entails. The simplicity and accessibility may frighten the majority of you, but those who find the power inside themselves and can correctly handle them will quickly reach their financial goals.